In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the Ubiquity NVR app. The first thing you want to do is go to the App Store and search for Unify Video. Then click the Download button. After the app is downloaded and installed, click Open. You'll be presented with the Sign In screen. Click Sign In. The app will detect any NVRs that are running on your network. If you wish to view your NVR remotely, I would recommend hitting the three dots in the top right corner. Then click Add New NVR. Here you will enter the NVR address, http colon forward slash forward slash, then the domain name or IP address of your NVR, colon port 7080. Next, enter your email address that you use to log into the NVR. Finally, you will enter your password, then tap Sign In. The first screen you'll see is a listing of all the cameras managed by your NVR. Up at the top, you can tap Multi-View to view multiple cameras at the same time. You can click on a camera and choose full screen to view the camera full screen on your device. This will automatically rotate your device to view the image. You can then click switch or exit. Switch allows you to switch between cameras in view. Exit takes you back to the main screen. You can hit the X in the top right corner to go back to the camera listing. You can click on a single camera, view the live stream with audio, or stream the device, stream the camera to a Apple TV or any other AirPlay compliant device by clicking the AirPlay symbol. You can change the view of the screen to full screen by clicking the expand button in the right corner. This will make the window full screen. You can also view recent recordings at the bottom for this particular camera. It will take a moment to fetch the recordings if you're over a slow internet connection. The recordings will be listed by date and time. You can go back by clicking camera and it will return you to the previous page. You can also change the record resolution. Instead of using the web interface, you can do it through the app by clicking record resolution and changing it from high medium or low. You can also change the record mode by clicking the record mode button and choosing none, on motion, or always. Currently the on schedule feature is not available in the app. You can also click the settings gear in the top right above the status to change the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, gamma, sharpness, denoise, orientation, and you can also reset the camera in the far right. Settings in the bottom right allows you to use Touch ID to access the camera. This is a good thing, but it's also kind of annoying when you go to log into the app after it's been closed, because if your fingerprint doesn't work, you'll have to manually type the password. Turning this off allows the device to save the password without having to enter it again. I would recommend turning Touch ID off. You can also change your time zone and you can view the time zone of the NVR. You can view recordings for different cameras by clicking the recordings button in the bottom, then the filter search option in the top right you can search by date range by clicking the date range item, choosing today, last week, last month, or a custom range. You can choose the type of recording for cameras that were recording 24 hours a day or only recorded on motion. You can also view locked recordings. This was talked about in a previous video. Setting your search options, then choosing done, will allow you to view all the recordings that you selected. 
Currently I've selected recordings from today on all cameras. When I click done, the app will refresh and show me all recordings from all cameras today. You can click on the recording and it will start playing. You can click the speaker to listen to the audio from the recording. You can also download the recording by clicking the download button in the top right. The recording will download and save on your phone. It will then prompt you to access your photos and store it in your photo library. This concludes the video of using the Ubiquiti NVR app. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.